time is about the day of the bad haircut. Molly had a mother, a father, a brother named Ben, a cat named Charlie, and a lot of nicknames. Dad called Molly, my little lady. Ben called Molly, sis. To mom, Molly was sweeter. One day, mom said, "Sweeter, your hair is a mess. You need a haircut." But Molly said, "No, I like my hair the way it is." One week later, mom said, "Sweeter, you really do need a haircut." But Molly said, "No, I like my hair the way it is." One week later, mom took Molly and Ben to the barber shop. Ben sat in the barber's chair. Click click went the barber scissors. Snips of hair fell to the floor. Good boy, the barber said. He gave Ben a toy. See Molly, Mom said. Don't you want? Don't you want a toy too? But Molly said, No, I like my I like my hair the way it is. One week later, Molly said, Ow, that hurts. Sweet girl, Mom said. Will you please let me comb your hair? And Molly said, Yes. Click click went mom's scissors. Snips of hair fell to the floor. Mom cut a little more hair. Click click click, and a little more there. Click click, and a little more. Click. Wait until you see yourself, Molly. Mom said you look so cute. It's too short, Mary cried. Now I look like a boy. Mom looked at Molly in the mirror. Yes, she said, "I got some boys to have their hair cut like this." But I'm a girl, Molly said. Of course. Mom gave her a hug. Molly went out onto the porch. She felt very strange. She was a girl, but she had a boy's hair cut. What if people thought she was a boy now? Molly did not want anyone to see her. She sat down in the corner. The letter carrier came by. He didn't see Molly. Mrs. Green came by. She didn't see Molly. Molly's cat Charlie came by. Shh, Charlie, Molly whispered, "You will give me away." For a long time, no one else came by. Molly was all alone. She heard cars passing in the street. She heard kids jumping rope. Then thump thump. Molly heard footsteps coming up the porch steps. It was Ben. Hey, sis, Ben said. What are you doing there? Molly began to cry. I'm hiding. I'm comb my hair too short, and now I look like a boy. It's alright, sis, Ben said. I will help you hide. No one will get past me. It was hard to stay still. Molly wished wish wished she could go out and play. Then Ben called out, "Look at the steamroller! Some men are here to work on the driveway next door. Let's go watch." Molly stood and watched the big machine. She loved the smell of the hot dog. She loved the way the heavy roller ironed out the piles of sticky gravel and made a smooth black driveway. She forgot all about her hair. One of the workers saw them. Hi, said Ben. Hi, said Molly. Hi, said the man. Do you boys live here? No, Ben said. We live next door. And and I'm not a boy, Molly said. I'm a girl with a bad haircut. The man laughed. It's not so bad, he said. Besides, you your hair will grow back before you know it. It's about time I had a haircut myself. Molly ran home. Mom said, "Here's my sweet girl. I'm sorry about your hair." But Molly knew it did not matter. She was still that little lady Ben sees, and Mom's sweet girl, she always would be. Bye bye.